from a now empty Homewood field where they packed in about 11,000 people standing the whole way around the stadium. Maryland, 8-7, three overtimes. It was wonderful, fantastic, it was great. I'm Wayne Viner, intern Mason. Bruce Bowser, you've seen a lot of these games. You said the first game you've seen here was in 1958. Listen, that's why this game is the best rivalry in sports, let alone lacrosse. Uh, just a tremendous effort by the Terps. It didn't look good for a while. They were down 7-5 to five with three minutes left, and somehow or another, a couple great saves by Danny Morris, a face-off win, a clutch shot by Will Snyder, and before you knew it, a game where they had somewhat been dominated turns into a tie, three overtimes. Maryland did have the best of it in the overtimes. They did. They had the ball most of the time, had several shots at it. Right. Uh, look, Maryland showed up with three minutes to go, plus the two overtimes. It almost went, it was almost another 10 minutes of play. Maryland really showed up in that last 10 minutes. I thought Coach, Coach Petromajo said it best when he said, Well, how'd they get those two goals? He said, They're a good team. They are. Maryland yeah. is good. Mason, how good was it? It's a great venue. I honestly think it's the best for lacrosse at all. And. Really, the fans for both teams make it great, but the game today was kind of slow till it wasn't when it hit overtime. Oh, it's sped up. I mean, you've been out there in rivalry games. You played in goal a little bit in rivalry games. What do you think of Dan Morris's performance? I think he really turned it on. Expert. He kept them in it again. They need him all the time, it seems to be now. And as Bruce puts it, he's a championship goalie that makes championship plays all the time. Yeah, yeah, I think once you win that title and you have it in your background, you're you're the guy and Danny Morris has turned into that guy. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. For about 47, 50, about 57 minutes, Turnbull was amazing. Right. For well, the two shots that uh, Will Snyder, Drew's baby brother, beat him on, it was impossible. The winning goal, crisscross pass, mm -hmm. boom, over. Uh, and i tell you what tells you how great Maryland is. All right. Uh, you heard Petromala. He put seven guys on Jared and Connor Kelly. And it worked. It worked, except the other guy stepped up. Timmy Rotan stepped up. Um, the face-off shock, he got a goal. Shockey. And let's have but a look, Austin have some kudos, kudos to Austin Henningsen. And Wayne, then, number what do you seven, think? He came in, he turned the tide. Maryland was a really iffy. At the end, Maryland ends up with a split on the face-offs. But Henningsen uh, started to pull Hopkins into a couple false starts. And when you're standing right on the midfield stripe, as I was, you could see the Hopkins Fogo twitch and there's your whistle and it's Maryland's ball and it, it tilted the field towards the Hopkins goal. Maryland was on a roll there at the end. Logan was just two or three goals. I, I think don't he had two. Three, two. Two. He had a pretty much slam dunk goal. We have some photos of that right here as he got really close to the to Turnbull and just sort of bounces in on his feet and that was amazing. And then of course he had a couple of misses too that yeah. normally he finishes. You know he did. Turnbull I, played great. The defense I, played unbelievable for Hopkins. I was talking to the Maryland video crew on the other on the far sideline. Said that for three months these plays work. Today Maryland is just off by that much. Yeah. And uh, you know, I don't know. You kept asking. You've done it on the record a couple times. Connor Kelly, are you okay? And I'm not sure with the no points game that he really was okay, a sharp. They had three guys on him. They, I mean, they really blanketed him. And listen, as good as you are, you can't be three guys. There's no way in the world. But yeah, every time he made his move, that's what they had. And. Uh, 
but you know the other guy stepped up and right. Bubba was out. Will Snyder got the winning goal. I think Bubba was not in that last series. I don't remember. I, I talked to him after the game. He had cramps. Was he okay? I he, assume. he was okay. But I said, you told me back in June or July that you wanted to play defense, and now it's the last game of the season, and I see you out there. He goes, yeah, and we wanted to call timeout to get me out of there. <laughs> so <laughs> he got trapped on defense. But Timmy Rotans played defensive midi. Bubba Farron played a little defensive midi. I was waiting for Connor Kelly to reply his his role as a midi if they needed it. Timmy Rotance, we talked about it a lot. When the team's in a jam, who always shows up? He carried the ball a lot for Maryland today, right. and he, he scored a diving goal. Here's some photos of that, and that was a spectacular goal, once again in close. And Tim Rotance is, you know, to have a closer like that on your team mm -hmm. is a difference, and hats off to Timmy, and hats off to the entire team. Listen, all I can say is, I loved every second of that game. Mason, I felt like we actually won something. There's your, the crab picture and the team with the crab trophy. Th this, this we're not was winning great. much, and uh, uh, but you yeah. got another. You got a long time. You're gonna you're gonna turn around to somebody and say, you know, I went to the first one of these when I was 10 years old, and now it's whatever year it is, and we're still going. So you got to carry on this winning tradition. This but is man. the fourth year of the crab, or third year? Four, four, four. four year. Hopkins got it once, and we got it three times. I think. Yep. I forgot there's that the, Brock Turnbull on the other side of the I, fence right there. Yeah, he had a great game. And they're going day. for their senior luncheon. And I think uh, it actually feels like the end of something, but it might not be. You might be on the road at Michigan if Maryland makes it. The, the we'll, see, we'll see how it goes next uh, Saturday. I want to know what time the game is. I have a, something I have to be at right. Sunday morning. So as if I, I know I can get back early, but I might right. be able to get back Saturday. Right. Well, that would be ideal. Let's go ahead and thank the sponsors and, and head home. Uh, we been a great day at Homewood. Yeah, it, it really has been. Any final comments, Mace? Yeah, it's, it's the start of the new season now. 11-2, and two, number one in the country, and I think that number one will probably be hanged even if a loss happens next week in the Big Ten tournament. They've earned it. Big Ten champions. Uh, <laughs> What else can I say? You know, it's what it's about. It was great. Thank you to Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, to NPS, Nonprofit Services. Uh, they make your nonprofit work, and to Viner Consulting. Bruce, take it home. And thank you to Ernie for being such a great host here at Hopkins. As he All waves right. behind the fence right. there. Great guy, all-time guy. He knows more about the Hopkins rivalry than I do. That's right? a lot. Well, that's he, a lot. All right, it is a lot. He knows more, even though I've probably been to more. But, uh... This is what it's all about. Next year we go back to Maryland, which is great. But now you know why. When this game was played at M&T Bank Stadium, Petromala said, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore. They each gave up a home game for two years, and he said, this game means too much to this campus. You saw it today. We did. And right. with that, we will bid you all good afternoon. We will see you on the radio Wednesday night for Turp Talk on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. And then again on Saturday morning with Coons Ford Presents the Sports Maven. Hopefully previewing Maryland in the championship game of the Big Ten Tournament. <laughs> right. We can only hope. Right. Good afternoon from Baltimore.